It's been estimated that hospitals in the U.S. overcharge tens of thousands of their patients by about $10 billion total every year. They're paying markups of 100 to even 1,000% annually without even realizing it. It's a big problem in our country. And look, even in my own experience as a patient, recently going to see a doctor and having some tests done, I, I will say the bills are showing up. I don't really understand them. You know, I'm getting phone calls to collect a bill I never even received in the mail, and I'm like, what? How does the? How does a I mean, layperson I mean, deal with this? I know, even as doctors, we don't. When we see one of these extensive hospital bills, we we don't know what what to make heads or tails of it. It's it's confusing, and I, I will acknowledge that. I think it's confusing for all of us, and unfortunately, that's part of the lack of transparency in healthcare. It's one of the reasons why. Look, I'm very proud of my profession, but I'm not that proud of our healthcare system, sadly. So one of the things you can do is just make sure everything on your bill is correct. And what we mean by that is, you know, make sure that they have not only your correct personal information, but your correct insurance information. Because sometimes you'll get billed an inappropriate amount and it didn't go through the proper insurance channels. And there are all sorts of adjustments made, but the biggest thing is making sure all that is correct. But then also, did you actually receive those services? A lot of times, particularly during a complicated either hospital stay or you go to a clinic, you're getting multiple tests done, it can easily occur where you're getting billed for a service that you didn't actually receive. And if you're not sure what you're getting billed for, pick up the phone and make that call and ask, hey, when I'm getting billed $400 here for this such and such lab, I don't, I don't even think I got that well, done, and, and they may they may adjust your and, bill. And that falls into the category that I call look for fish, fishy signs. If you see something that appears like you have no clue what that is, what that means, well, you can go online and look up what we call the CPT code, which tells you what that condition or treatment is related to. Number two, common error you see, and this, this can really add up, a mistake in billing. Is it a private room? versus a shared room. That that can change things dramatically. The minute you get into the operating room, the way they bill, anesthesia, the other things that are going on in the course uh, of an operation in the uh, operating room, those things can be tricky. You need to take a good close look at, at those. And then finally, you know, just being Oh, way overcharged for supplies. For example, you have to look at things and they're gonna itemize the smallest of things, glove, gauze, bandages, things like that. You see a huge number associated with one of those supplies, obviously that's a mistake. And the other thing you can do proactively, obviously in a life-threatening situation, you just, you need to do whatever is best to get your health back in order. But even an example, you go to the hospital or the doctor or the clinic, and sometimes it's as simple as, well, you need to go on crutches. The difference between receiving a pair of crutches in the hospital versus picking it up at the department store. Double, can be, more. It can be way more. Every yep. hospital charges a different amount, but sometimes, as a doctor, I'll even say, look, you know, here are your options. We can get you a pair here, a little more expensive, or your family member can go run and get you a pair at the local department store. You know, it's just one of those things where ahead of time, if you're not sure, ask questions and just Whatever you do, if you're not sure, taking notes of exactly the services you're getting done, because taking notes does one other thing. When you leave, when you leave the doctor's office, when you leave the hospital, if you've taken notes about the proper things, the things you had done, and what you're supposed to do, you're actually probably more likely to have a better healthcare outcome as well.